Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the ins and outs of this ping pong parachute device I made. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. Just real quick, if at any point you want to buy this kit, make sure you hit the first link in the description and you should be good to go. With that said, let's get right into the video. All right, so beginning with the rocket, there were a couple different things that I took into consideration when designing it. The first thing is the ping pong ball with the nose. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, you would know that I really emphasize you put a ping pong ball or something similar to the rounded or to make your nose of your rocket more rounded. Now, just to briefly summarize that video, what having a rounded nose does is it protects your rocket from piercing this parachute. And this obviously will save you from getting a super terrible score in your competition. So it's something I highly recommend you try to implement. Now, another thing you might notice is that I have this sort of white-ish tube. Now, originally I took a T8 white tube and I sanded it down. Now, you don't necessarily have to sand it down just uh, because um, you are not limited or you are limited, but only 65 PSI, and that should be enough to take you to the highest point of most venues you should be testing in. So you don't necessarily need to sand it, but the rocket I built and the kits that you buy for this kit will come with a sanded tube. And just to reiterate why it's sanded, it's just to reduce some weight. So your rocket can go just a little bit higher and help you get a little bit of an extra edge. Now it's not also important to note that this tube is not the full length of a T8 light tube. It's actually cut down to roughly two feet. And that sort of helps with center of gravity so your rocket doesn't nosedive once it hits the, once it hits its apex. And if your rocket does nosedive, then it will take your parachute down with it and you'll just get a big fat zero as your score. As, as for the parachute, I tried to make it as light as possible so that, um, so that you can get the best possible time. Now, as of right now, the parachutes I've been making with the string and everything completed comes out to roughly three to four grams. Now, with some new adjustments I've made changing, right now you see that these parachutes have a fishing line as the string. Now, what I found works a little bit better is thread. Now, like sewing thread. And the sewing thread works a little bit better because it's a lot lighter. So with the fishing line, you're getting roughly four grams of the entire weight of the parachute thing. But with thread, you can actually bring that down to roughly three grams. So obviously this isn't the best possible parachute right now, but in the future, uh, you would want to use thread. Now I don't have a thread one here because when I was testing earlier, it broke, but that is besides the point. So big summary here is super light trash bag, super light string, and that will get you the best possible results. All right, as for the deployment mechanism for the ping pong parachute, I basically just put the rocket under the center of the parachute. So if you look at it, the rocket goes under the parachute and into the center, if I can do this. All right, so not, not like that, come on. All right, so it's like this. The parachute is on the rocket, and when the rocket goes up after it's launched, the weight difference causes the rocket to fall while the parachute is still floating in midair. And then the parachute eventually activates and you get the times you are going to get, depending on the way you built it. Now, this is very simple, very rudimentary, but I have to tell you guys, it's such a great option if you're struggling with ways to launch a rocket. I know I struggled multiple times trying to have the parachute in some sort of ball configuration or trying to put the ping pong ball on top of the parachute. And ultimately, those ideas either did not work completely or if they did work, it caused a significant reduction of height between the time the rocket reaches apex to the time the parachute deployed. So this is a very simple way of going about it. And if you found something different and are willing to share, please put it in the comments. I'd love to test it out and let everyone else know how great your idea is. So just to reiterate, 
very simple, very easy rudimentary way of getting your parachute to launch. If you need me to go a little bit more into detail, leave it in the comments and I'll get to it. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you want to buy the kit, first link in the description. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.